Jermaine Burton was maybe the most controversial prospect out of the most recent draft class. He was someone that his tape was probably good enough to be worth a top 50 pick in the NFL draft, but there were some off the field issues. Uh, and real quick, I, I won't spend forever on it, but I you know got to mention it. It's a part of the story. The first main thing was that he kind of had transferred from a lot of different schools, including transferring away from Georgia, even after he had already been named the starter, which rubbed some people the wrong way. But the other kind of big one was there was an incident where after a loss, the Tennessee fans were storming the field, Burton playing for Alabama, and he was seen on camera kind of doing something in between a push and a punch to a woman. Now, Nick Saban said he did it in self-defense, but watching the clip, that's just not how it reads at all. Maybe it's the case and it, the clip was misleading, but it's certainly not how I see it when I watch the clip. So you're more than welcome to have your own opinions on that, but let's shift gears and talk about the football side of things. For the Bengals, they decided to take on this you know, from a football perspective, this risk, right? We're going to spend pick 80 on a guy who is realistically a potentially good player. And, you know, uh, at the time, it's like, well, is T. Higgins going to go? Let's get a guy that we can, you know, maybe could be a replacement if we do lose T. Higgins, some insurance, if you will. And so watching the preseason, I was very fascinated in seeing how was he going to play for them. And let's start off with the play you see on your screen. It's going to be a, you know, a one-on-one -on -one matchup right here. You see the way it's supposed to work. Just going to be a quick curl route, trying to gain some yards here and really trying to get you off the, you know, two-yard line. So that way you have more t you know, room to work with. You don't have to worry about a safety or anything. And when this play begins, you're going to see Burton do a couple things. For one thing, I think he's doing a good job at kind of selling as though he could be running uh, a deeper shot right here. You see 21 for Tampa Bay, getting in position. But also watch out when he cuts. I mean, look at how far off that Tampa Bay player gets. It, it almost looks like a push-off, which, you know, the jokes can write themselves there. But really, I, I kind of don't think it was much of a push-off. There was a little bit, but, you know, the, the, the refs will give you a little bit. I don't think that was a penalty. I think that that was just he cut really well, and then the corner kind of went flying because of it. That was almost reminds me of the Michael Jordan, uh, you know, game six against Utah, where it kind of looks like a push-off, but really I think it was just a good move. Before any Utah Jazz fans get mad at me, let's just move on to the next play now uh, that we're going to talk about this one, where this is the main reason they drafted Burton, quite frankly, is to be a downfield threat. The Bengals love their downfield threats. I mean, Jamar Chase, obviously the you know, most known guy who's you know, one of the best downfield threats in the league. You also have T. Higgins, who's really good at this stuff as well. And for Burton, who was a potential T. Higgins replacement, and of course, still potentially could be. T. Higgins is playing on the franchise tag this year, so it won't be for this year, but for future years could be. This is what T. Higgins has been really good at, is winning these one-on-one -on -one matchups and kind of forcing teams to have to double-team not just Jamar Chase, but also double-team T. Higgins. So for Burton, when he starts this play, you see him, again, he's going to just really run by uh, this Tampa Bay uh, defensive back, and you're in a situation right here where Burton just has a good amount of separation. Because of this, it's a well-thrown ball. He's able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. This is definitely the stuff that gets you excited if you're a Bengals fan. I'm like, okay, the fact that he can do this is really, it's optimistic. This plays another one, and an interesting one, where, you know, game situation, I, I know it's a game that doesn't matter, but they're still playing it out as though it does. It's You're down three points with 50 seconds left, so you need a chunk play right here. Burton running a deep shot, and definitely the strategy for Tampa Bay is keep everything in front of you. However, when this play begins, you see how the strategy here for the Bengals quarterback really is, hey, Burton has a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. I'm just going to throw it up there because we got to make a play. We only have so much time. It's the correct strategy, especially when it's Jermaine Burton and the kind of game he's having at this point. Watch him really show, I mean, you know, listen, playing in, late in the fourth quarter, you're not exactly going up against starters, but I think Burton is kind of showing the difference in skill level here between himself and some of the guys he's going up against when he's playing in these later situations. He for sure wasn't always winning on these downfield shots, something like this. It is a one-on-one -on -one matchup once again. Uh, you know, there is a safety deep, but it's, he's not going to get over uh, to this play. So again, one-on-one -on -one matchup. Once this play begins, you're going to see, you know, quarterback looks in that direction, fires in that direction, and not as much separation right here. Still, there is a chance of getting a uh, catch right here, and, and to be honest, the defensive back is going to do a kind of a bit of a slick thing. 
He actually holds Burton's right hand a little bit back, so Burton can only try to get one hand on it. But that's why you got to get more separation. So, again, uh, technically a penalty, but very rarely gets called. Um, these are the kind of things that, you know, for someone like Burton, he didn't win every time on this stuff. It, it's fair to mention. But he was winning enough that you can feel pretty excited if you're a Bengals fan that he could continue to do stuff like this. I play like this is another interesting one. It's just going to be a wide receiver screen, nothing fancy. And in fact, it's going to start off not so good when Burton is going to eventually get the ball in his hands right here. You see that he stops and it's a tough situation. You have a Colts player who's in position to try and make a tackle. And this isn't going to go for too much, but it's still a fun play. Watch him be able to juke that Colts player out and then get tackled by the next guy. So it didn't amount to much, like I said. But still, it's a good play to showcase what he is capable of doing. He, he can, you know, uh, hopefully there will be situations if you're a Bengals fan where he can do that. And there isn't another defender who's right about to tackle him exactly, you know, right when it ends and you, you have a situation that way. That's what you're hoping for at the very least. But let's go over to one more of these types of plays. This is going to be, once again, a one-on-one uh, -on -one matchup here for Burton and you know I kind of showed the other couple of plays where he was able to win one where it was kind of just a jump ball hey let's th throw it up and hope for the best and Burton was able to make the kind of box the defender out and make the grab one where Burton just ran by the defender but I think this next play might be the best indicator of how he could do in these situations because watch how when it begins you see Burton goes for the outside leverage is kind of running by the Colts player but definitely there's not as much separation the advantage Burton has is Burton can play the ball right now in the Colts defense or can't because his back is turned so watch how Burton is able to go up and make the grab and they pick up a touchdown on that one so these are the types of things that you see someone who could be a really good downfield threat I think one of the questions you just have to have if you're a Bengals fan is is there room for someone like Burton when you already have Jamar Chase and T Higgins two really good downfield threats but there still will be those guys aren't going to be out there every snap right and like you know they, they do play in a slot at times so having Burton out there certainly I think will be a benefit to them but yeah those are kind of my thoughts on Jermaine Burton and how I thought he played in this preseason pretty well uh, you know I, I would have liked to see him like more like I don't know, I would like to see him try him in this slot a bit more, see that kind of stuff. Just not really how they used him, so I can only really discuss what I can see, and I don't know exactly how all three of these guys are going to work in this situation. So, again, I uh, can only talk about what uh, I can talk about here in this situation. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on all of this. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.